Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are doing really wonderful. And so we will be taking a look at all that is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas as well as our two disturbances across the Atlantic. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. And so guys, I want to let you know that I will not be posting an update video this afternoon. I will be unable to do so, but let us go ahead and get on with what is happening out there. So let us go ahead and kickstart things with our disturbances. First, we're looking at Invest 97L. Now, this is the disturbance which is located off the east coast of the U.S. So it is given a 30% chance of development as of the latest update from the National Hurricane Center. And it really has another day because chances will diminish as it is going to be merging with a frontal boundary. So it has another day before it does so uh, to try to get itself together, maybe become a depression or even a storm out there. But let's see what's going to be happening happening with it. So, uh, sometimes these systems, they tend to come on quickly, but at other times they tend to fail to develop. So let's see what's going to be the eventual outcome with this. But overall, I'm not expecting a whole lot of development from it. And so uh, going on to 96L, here we can see this blob in association with it, some showers and thunderstorms being produced here. And so this is not a threat to land and is still given that high 80% chance of development. So it could become our next named system as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days. And so how about the Caribbean and surrounding areas? Let's take a look at what is happening there right now, beginning with parts of the Southern Caribbean going to Northern South America. And there we can see a lot of activity for the Northwestern part of Colombia, as well as for some spots in Panama, a lot of heavy rainfall, uh, even some flooding possible right now across some areas. So a tropical wave is in the area. And as it is going to be continuing westward, that rainfall chance will kick up again for central Central America, uh, increasing the risk of flooding taking place across more areas. And so guys, please take the necessary precautions and stay safe. Looking into parts of Venezuela, going to Guyana, there is some thunderstorm activity moving through, nothing too crazy. ABC L is in the clear right now, but there is that activity nearby. Similar story for Trinidad, Tobago, heading to Grenada, the Grenadine, St. Vincent, Barbados, uh, even going up into St. Lucia. For some areas, it might be cloudy, maybe even with some brief rainfall activity right now but for the most part there isn't anything too crazy going on in the area let's go further up north uh, and here you can see all of the shower and thunderstorm activity across parts of the leeward islands going to montserrat antigua guadalupe even down into dominica and so uh what we're seeing now is not going to be very persistent where it's just going to be heavy rainfall right through today it's likely that there's going to be uh periods of heavy rainfall yes and then it might clear up then it might get pretty overcast and then afterwards, uh, that rainfall activity might return. So we're not talking about an organized system or a big blob. Uh, all this activity is just developing all over the place in the vicinity of Lesser Antilles. But things get a bit clearer as we head to Barbuda, as well as for other areas such as St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Eustatia, Saba, St. Barthelemy, St. Martin, and Anguilla. Let's look at other areas. Uh, go into Central America, other parts of Central America, excluding Panama, parts of Costa Rica, going to Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, Mexico, we can see that there is some activity, some thunderstorm activity for some spots, but for most areas, it should be a pretty clear morning. Nothing much going on for the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, although there is some thunderstorm activity nearby. Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, also in the clear. And uh, by the way, I have been seeing the comments from you guys uh, from Puerto Rico talking about the heat and just how unbearable it has been. So unfortunately, a whole lot of rainfall not expected. So uh, throughout most of the days, please try to stay as cool and hydrated as you can. That is very important. And then a cloud cover with some thunderstorms across some spots in the vicinity of the Bahamas, also near the Turks and Caicos Islands. So that is what we see happening right now. Let's go on to the rainfall maps, starting out with GFS. So as the map becomes more colorful, head into more of those shades of yellows, oranges, reds, that is where we see a lot more rainfall, a lot more rainfall probable within those spots. And so as we head through today, we can see that uh, most of the Leeward Islands are expected to receive some substantial rainfall. Antigua, Barbuda, Guadalupe, Dominica, uh, go into parts of Martinique, uh, maybe even southwestern Trinidad could experience some activity 
intensity. Other surrounding islands are likely going to be experiencing rainfall, but just not as much as those uh, aforementioned areas. Across some spots in the vicinity of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, there could be some substantial rainfall as well, especially as we head to this afternoon. ABC Islands remaining in the clear across Central and Northern South America, some substantial rainfall for most areas. Again, that heavy rainfall, that risk of flooding across some spots. Heading to the vicinity of Jamaica, going to uh, Hispaniola, there might be some thunderstorm activity, especially heading into the afternoon. Uh, Jamaica in particular, eastern parishes have not been experiencing much rainfall. It has been pretty sunny and dry for most areas uh, for some time now, but over in the west, western parishes have been receiving some thunderstorms and some uh, afternoon showers at times. But then as we head to the vicinity of uh, western Cuba, going to parts of the northern Bahamas. Even for Florida, there is likely to be some activity popping up this afternoon. And then as we head to the Euro, uh, Euro is expecting something pretty much similar to the GFS. And so uh, that all that rainfall activity across parts of Central and Northern South America. And then that chance for those isolated thunderstorms as we head to this afternoon for parts of the Northern Caribbean. And so over in the east, all that activity is being induced by a tropical wave which has entered the region. It is continuing westward. And then uh, there is another one as we head over into the vicinity of the Western Caribbean. And so, guys, that is what I wanted to share with you in this update. That is what is happening. Again, in the event of heavy rainfall, please do not take any unnecessary risks and stay as safe as you can. And also stay safe in all this dry weather if you have been experiencing a lot of sunshine and a lot of that heat, especially down in the ABC Islands. So uh, please stay as cool and hydrated as you can, as I said earlier. And of course, I'll be keeping you guys posted. And so that is pretty much it for this update and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond as best and as soon as i can and as always remember to be weatherwise